Hi and welcome back. Today, in this episode, I would like to share with you how to create dictionaries in R. It's very important when we are in a data analysis or a machine learning problem and we would like to create a new variable or associate two variables, but we know one value in one uh, variable and would like to find the value in the other one or just feature engineering. What's going on? What we can do? Okay, first, we'd like to show you how to create a dictionary using vectors. In our video about vectors, we discuss the different uh, characteristics of vectors. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that you already know that. In this case, let's create a variable called ages, numeric vector. We execute and we display the information. Okay. However, I would like to show that we only have, I would like to point out that we only have values. A dictionary is composed of, with two, with two things, keys and values. In this case, we only have values. So how are we going to associate keys and values here? Okay, let's use the function name. With names, we're going to call or we're going to name each value with a person name for in our in this, for this example. Check first, what are the names before using this? Null. There's no there's no associate with each value. So when we run this line, we can obtain a key and a value for each element in the in the in the vector ages. Check here where it's asking which is the value or what is the value for Louis. In this case, the age of Louis. 23. So we, are, we can answer, ah, Louis is 23 years old. And next is if what what or why what happened if I change the name's length? Here we have a name with two two characters only. This one is has four four characters. So that could be present a problem for our or for us. Let's see. The vector's name hasn't changed haven't changed at all. Okay. This is our first dictionary. Okay, now what what would happen if I change now instead of just using numbers, what if my my values are strings? Or so that means that I'm mixing data types here, right? Numbers or numeric values and strings in this case. I'm gonna call again the function names. I have change ages and let's see. Oh, perfect. It works. Now my values are numeric and strings. Also, I would like to show you that my keys are not only strings. I already have, I have to five, five is numeric. However, I have to call five as a string or a char as a character because the function names is how we call the elements with characters. That's the problem here when we are using vectors for creating a dictionary. Okay, and also I would like to point to you that here our vector elements are not longer numerics. They have converted into strings. Why? Because one of the elements the string, in this case, the last element. Mm, so we have an advantage when we're using vectors for creating our dictionaries. So what is the solution? What do I, do I propose? We're going to use the library hash. With hash, we can associate keys and values directly. There are two ways for calling the function hash. We say, okay, keys, my keys are going to be letters, the letters from the alphabet. We have 
all of the letters from our alphabet and also I know that there are 26 values or 26 elements so okay, let's create a sequence from number from 1 to 26 this way, this way in this way and we create our dictionary each okay let's display it okay now we have one value associated with one letter in the, in our dictionary also there's the other way for calling the solution will give us the same output how can i extract information from each key okay we call it this way using the, the dollar symbol our, my key is a letter letter a my value is one the same for z ah how can i create or, or how can i insert more elements to my dictionary so if this is the way i think me is my value for my key mine as you can see the output where is I haven't done anything right. Here it is. Here my key is mine and my value is me. How can I get my value from my key mine? This is the other way. And this was the first the first way I showed you before. Mine. Okay one key in one value also i can create two key values what it means well i'm gonna have one key wow but it's gonna have this each key is gonna have one value like this my key my first key is wow but i create a list containing two keys okay and this is how we can use dictionaries using R this is the way or the method I propose you for creating dictionaries in R I hope you like it and so thank you